Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am in a new background, in a new location, as I often am every couple weeks uh, being on tour right now. I am here in Boston. Editing Gavi here. Uh, just wanted to drop in and say something's going on with my camera. I think I've dropped it one too many times and now it is altering my voice a little bit where on camera my voice sounds really low and I know I have a really low voice and I'm sick right now but it sounds really low. So this is the last video where you will hear that sort of tone from me. Thanks for your patience. I'm just going to uh, stop using that camera, okay? <laughs> Let's get into the video. I'm so happy to be here because I went to college in Boston, and so it is like a home away from home to me. Uh, I absolutely love Boston, and we were in Florida five weeks prior to this. So I, I'm so happy to be here because I went to college in Boston, and so... It is like a home away from home to me. And we were in Florida five weeks prior to this. So I did not have much of a fall going on temperature wise or like vibe wise. I wanted to wear my fall clothes and it just was not, I couldn't. So I'm finally in Boston. It's cold here, but I'm well prepared with some fall clothing. So today, as you can see by the title of the video, we're gonna be switching over my fragrances to get ready for fall, winter, cold weather. So something I love to do every single season. But before that, I wanna shout out the sponsor of today's video, which is Lily Silk. It's a perfect segue since we're talking about transferring our wardrobes and our scent wardrobes from warmer weather to cold weather. So this sweater that I'm actually wearing is from Lily Silk. Lily Silk is, if you haven't heard of them already, a super, super beloved brand worn by a ton of celebrities. The brand has been seen on Lucy Hale, Nino Dobrev, Gwyneth Paltrow, Viola Davis, Emily Ratajkowski, Lupita Nyong'o, Megan Trainer. the list goes on and on of people who love Lily Silk and appreciate their style. So in my fall wardrobe for this year, I've added three new pieces from Lily Silk. I've added this bone colored, actually, I guess it's an off-white cashmere turtleneck sweater. Turtlenecks are my absolute favorite thing to wear in the fall and winter, especially being a singer. I feel like we have an obsession with just scarves and, and turtlenecks and keeping our necks warm. And then I love a silk slip dress, but I love a silk slip dress even more when it can transfer between different looks. So a daytime moment to throwing a leather jacket over it for a night out, to throwing this turtleneck on top of it and making it look more like a midi skirt and then pairing it with some thigh high boots so you actually get that body coverage that keeps you warm but you can still look chic and not just be wearing thick pants or jeans the entire fall and winter. I also added this wireless bra, which is amazing because I have really not been into underwire the past couple years. I feel like that's kind of all of us post pandemic. We just wanna be as comfortable as possible. This is great molded cups, but absolutely no wire. And it's just ugh, so nice to put on. It's a one size fits most bra and the silk is blended with spandex, which I love. It makes it so easy to slip on on a day when you really just don't want anything squeezing you. It's so comfortable. And again, because it's one size fits most, you may never have to worry about sizing again. Lily Silk is also a really great place to buy holiday gifts if you're shopping for friends, family, or yourself. And like me, you needed to add a couple products to your capsule wardrobe. Um, they do offer both envelope and box gift packaging, which is super convenient. And they're recyclable, which I really appreciate. I actually have a discount code if you want to check out Lily Silk for yourself. If you use my code Gabriella12, you will get 12% off of everything on Lily Silk's website. So again, they have sweaters, they have pajamas, they have slip dresses, skirts, almost anything you can want. Trousers, high quality, natural fibers, which I love wearing. Just timeless, beautiful products that are gonna last you years and years. I feel like with the pieces that I've chosen, they're classic, they're not too trendy to the point where they're not gonna be wearable next year and I feel really good in them and super warm. Shout out again to Lily Silk for sponsoring this video. Thanks for helping keep this channel running. And let's jump into switching out my fragrance wardrobe. Also, I want to apologize. I live on a very busy street here, which is exciting because I'm in the thick of 
the city energy, but it's also very loud. So if you hear like cars beeping, drilling, buses stopping, just take it in as part of the city vibe, okay? Let's jump in. So the first couple things I'm definitely going to put aside for this season are some of my body mists. Um, well, this one, I don't know, in, in transit, I think another body mist spilled on this and I think the alcohol dissolved the label. So that's a huge bummer because I really like this fragrance and the label was cute. This is um, Beachfront Blanket by Bath & Body Works. It, people say it smells like dryer sheets. I always say that doesn't sound very appealing to me. I don't really like wearing laundry scents, but this one is just so clean, so good. It's a, I don't know, it's my perfect clean laundry scent and I really never thought I would ever wear a clean laundry scent. So. I think I'll be putting it away though because even though the it doesn't say that it contains coconut, I definitely smell coconut. I think it smells wonderful and warm and this is a great more androgynous leaning fragrance for summer, maybe early fall. But I think I'm going to put it aside because I just don't want to... <laughs> because I just don't want to reach for it in the cold months. So this beachfront blanket and its destroyed label will be put aside. Um, also, this one, Victoria's Secret Heavenly Summer, it says it in the name. This is not something I would reach for during cold weather. I think it's a little too um, bright and too much floral. And in, in warm weather, I like to lean, in cold weather, I like to lean toward gourmand fragrances or just heavier, more androgynous fragrances. So I'm gonna save this one for summer and I really enjoy it, but she's going away for now. This one is Pure Wonder by Bath & Body Works. This came out, I think, last winter. This is really good, but it's a surprising winter scent. I actually am kind of surprised that they didn't put this out in springtime. If there were a different label, I would believe that this were a springtime scent. Um, it's Ice Rosé, Star Jasmine, and Warm White Amber. So it's cozy, but it kind of smells it has almost a grapey quality to it. If you know what I mean, if you smell those body sprays that smell so juicy and super grapey, um, I really enjoy it. And unfortunately, something's going on with the packaging where every time I travel with it, more spills out of it. So I want to get good use out of this because I know the next time I travel with it, I'm going to lose even more product. About half the bottle is gone. So I really like it. It's a nice, very, very feminine winter fragrance but the amber keeps it kind of grounded and warm so i really i really enjoy using this it's like a sexy very very feminine girly date night type of fragrance or a night out with the girls something like that that's pure wonder so like this one this i will be keeping for fall winter okay this is a new fragrance which i know if you're following my low buy journey i explain it in a video that's coming soon where i talk about my october experience with month one of my low buy but i went to osme perfumery in miami which is like nationwide famous if not world famous it was an incredible experience i spent like three or four hours in there the owner and i were just going through their whole collection and it was so amazing and i came across the ramon monegal fragrances which i had never heard of and i was just totally seduced by this bottle and um, Ramon Monegal is a Spanish perfumer and this fragrance is called Flamenco and it is a raspberry rose fragrance with musk and I think there's vanilla in there and it's really good but it's, it's very, very different than anything I have which is why I'm really glad that I selected it. I have nothing like this in my collection. The only other raspberry fragrance really that I have is back in LA in storage, and that is uh, Givenchy, is it Hot Couture, I think? The Eau de Toilette, maybe? Um, but it's totally a different feel. This is darker, this is more intense, this is sexier, it's not, it's womanly rather than girly, and it's seductive rather than flirty. So um, I really like this one. I've been enjoying it a lot in this very, very cold weather. Totally different vibe, because when I tried to wear it in Miami, it was just, too much. It's a beast, this fragrance. So 
yeah, I'm definitely gonna be wearing it this winter and it's just the most beautiful bottle. So yeah, that's, that's going in my cold weather capsule. This is Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. I go in between loving and disliking this one because on some days it smells really, really powdery um, or not, not powdery, but it makes me want to sneeze. And a lot of people have said that that might be the, um, like certain chemicals uh, and, and unnatural elements to this fragrance that maybe I have a sensitivity to. I don't know because some days this really just makes me want to sneeze. It feels like my nose is itching. But I like that there's marshmallow in there. I like that it's really sugary and sweet. Um, I like, you know, I something's up with this bottle too because I traveled with it and a bunch of it spilled. It's just a bummer. It's really hard to travel with fragrances, but that's just my life. Um, I can also, I can really see it kind of in the same vein as Pure Wonder in terms of warm and sugary um, and kind of girly, flirty, but appropriate for cold weather. I'm just gonna keep talking through the sirens because it's gonna keep happening. Um, yeah, I would like to try this out. I think this would be really unique to wear once it actually starts snowing outside and it's like that crisp, like it smells like snow out. Um, I'd like to see how this plays because I haven't worn this in weather that cold. So we'll see. I have a weird relationship with this one right now. I wanna get some wear out of it because if I travel with it again, more might spill and that is gonna suck. Okay, then I have uh, Vanille Noir du Mexique from La Maison de la Vanille. So in the warm weather, I was wearing Blue Ia, which is Lily of the Valley and Vanilla, one of my favorite fragrances I've ever smelled from this house. And I left it back in Chicago when I knew that that it was time to kind of get ready for fall winter and leave behind some of my really, really summery scents. This one, Vanille Noir du Mexique, Eau de Toilette. This is black vanilla, Mexican black vanilla. Um, this is good. I ordered this on a blind buy. It's not the most unique vanilla I've ever smelled really. It's not very complex. In the bottle, it smells quite alcoholic. On the skin, it's good, but it's not one that I think I would get stopped for or really noticed for. I think if people were close to me, they would say I smelled good, but I don't think anybody would be like, you know, do a double take at this fragrance. But I'd like to try and get some wear out of it in this cold weather and maybe I'll fall in love with it even more. So yeah, this is one I, I did blind buy and it's a, a tester. So I got it on a discount, but yeah, it's not my favorite, but I brought it because I want to try and get some wear out of it. Okay, then I have um, Eccentric Molecules, Molecule 01 plus Iris. This is super good, but to me, this is not fall, winter, really. The Iris is pretty fresh, and Iris can kind of lean powdery or like, it reminds me of Juniper a little bit too, which is really wintry, but I don't know. This actually might be really good in the winter. I just feel like for me, Iris is springtime. Even if it's still cold, it's springtime or fall. I don't feel like I'm gonna reach for this much in fall, winter, so it's a little too fresh. I'm gonna put it aside, even though I really do like this one. And I remember when I first got it, I was like, oh, what did I do? Cause this was also a blind buy, but I love this, but not for right now. Okay, another perfume that has been destroyed. This is such a bummer. This. Label has also been destroyed by something getting spilled, but this is Juliet Has a Gun Moscow Mule. This is so good. It's ginger lime. It's really, 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 really delicious. Um, it just smells like those Juliet Has a Gun, more androgynous, heavier fragrances, and it's just so good. It's not spicy to the nose, like the ginger and the lime don't assault you, and it's not super sharp and I don't know, I like smelling kind of androgynous. I think it, it smells cool when a woman smells like she could be wearing her boyfriend's cologne or something like that. I just think it's kind of uncommon. Um, so I will definitely be wearing this one, but it's very heavy and intense. So I, you know, it's definitely a, a, a cold weather fragrance. So I can't wait to get 
some use out of this even though the bottle is completely ruined that's okay this one's definitely going away this is prada rose um this has a bunch of rose and neroli and mandarin and i love this fragrance like i got i put a dent in this honestly for me this is a dent i was wearing this all the time when i was in dc it was super super hot and humid outside and the thought of wearing most fragrances was just like it would have been way too cloying and I couldn't even fathom it, but this is almost like spraying rose water on you, but it actually lasts and it smells good. And I got a few compliments from the band members in the show that I'm in, because I guess I was wearing this earlier in the day and then I did a show and my sweat like reactivated the perfume and they were like, you smelled so good today. And they said that a couple times and it was always when I wore this. So I love this, but it is not appropriate, I don't think. I mean, it could be cool. No, this is too fresh. Also, this bottle's getting destroyed too. This is just, what is happening to all my stuff? Okay, this was a gift, a birthday gift from my friend Aubrey when we went to Disney World together last month, two months ago. Um, this is Guerlain, L'Instant de Guerlain, and it's so good. This is very classic Guerlain. It's super powdery. Um, Y'all know, like, one of my favorite fragrances is um, Insolence. And, yeah, this is really, really good. I don't... I feel like it's more springtime. I don't feel like I want to wear this in the cold weather because it, to me, it's like a warm floral. Um, so even though, look how beautiful this bottle is. If this ever gets destroyed, I'm going to lose it. But I think I'm going to put it aside because when I smell it, I don't think of winter time, holiday time. Eh, no. So, but I love it. I love it and I can't wait to pull it out when it feels more appropriate. Okay, this is no surprise. This had to come with me for fall winter. Dior Hypnotic Poison Eau de Parfum. This is one of my like signature fragrances. If I don't know what to wear, I wear this one and I never get sick of it. To me, it kind of smells like cherry cola or Dr. Pepper mixed with like a plastic baby doll's head in the best way. It's plasticky kind of, which I really like but to me it doesn't smell too artificial. And yeah, it's it's almost like amaretto vibes as well. It's just dark and delicious, but really sweet without being syrupy. It has never given me a headache. But yeah, it, it reminds me of like sexy Dr. Pepper. And yeah, this is just my go-to when I don't know what to wear, slash when I just know that I really wanna smell good and I don't wanna think about it, I just, I love this one. Okay, this one, I'm gonna try to get some wear out of. This is a big, heavy bottle. This is Lalique Eau de Parfum. This is just titled Lalique. Um, this was a blind buy that I bought last winter. And this is a vanilla fragrance. And I think there's some floral in there too. It smells pretty mature and it's heavy and it's pretty loud. I don't think upon smelling it, I don't think that it smells exactly like me, but I feel good when I wear it and the bottle is just beautiful. Smelling it in the bottle, it smells like suede and um, cherry gummies, those Haribo cherry gummies, which might not even be notes in here, but yeah, it's a warm vanilla, you know, it's not the most show-stopping thing that I've ever smelled, especially on me. It's, you know, it's fine, but yeah, I feel fancy when I wear it. It's a good vibe, so I'm going to keep it around and try to get some wear out of it. This is beautiful, a very wintry looking bottle. This is Atalia by Parfum de Marly, and this I wore actually in the summer. I was wearing this in the spring and summer because it's just so good. It's loud and it lasts forever, but for some reason, the florals are just dark enough that I could handle wearing it in hot weather. Do I feel like this is holiday? No, I don't, I don't know. I mean, no, to me it's a bit, it's still a bit too floral. So even though this looks so perfect for winter, I, no, it doesn't give me that vibe. I'm gonna put it away for the season. 
Ellie Saab Essence number seven, Neroli. This is Neroli. To me, Neroli is springtime because orange blossom, everything blossoms early spring. So no, this is not a winter scent to me. It's growing on me. Some days I dislike it and some days I think it smells amazing. Um, so I will revisit this in the spring. I have Coco Mademoiselle. This is um, just a hair mist, but yeah, I like this. This scent is, again, I don't know if it's actually me, but I like putting this in my hair. It makes me feel fancy. I guess I'll put some in right now, why not? And um, yeah, it smells good. I wanna get some use out of it. I would prefer my hair smell like maybe something else like maybe like cake, <laughs> but this is good. And again, it makes me feel fancy. And also it smells very clean. Your hair is gonna smell like you're a clean person. So I definitely wanna get some use out of that this winter. Michael Kors Wanderlust. This is just one of my favorite fragrances of all time. It's an almond milk fragrance, but I smell it and I do not think of winter. I think of um, being outside all day in warm weather. So. As much as I love this, I know that I will reach for it when the holidays are over and things start to warm up again. So she's going away, but so good. And then I just have two more body sprays. I have Victoria's Secret Teas. This is really good. Also, this just reminds me of high school and college because everybody wore this body spray and I really like it and it brings back nostalgia for me. It kind of fulfills the, the place of a Juicy Couture perfume, which I don't own anymore, but you know that vibe. So I like it, it's small, I can carry it with me to the theater. I'm gonna keep that. And then Victoria's Secret Bombshell Seduction. Mm. This actually might be really nice in the winter. I think I'm gonna keep this out. I'm gonna try to use this. And then here I just have a couple samples. I have my Pinrose Travels, I have my Clean Classic Skin. Um, I have a bunch of commodity fragrances because commodity is back at Sephora. So they sent me a set and I've, half the women in my family love commodity gold. My mom has asked me to get that for her for Christmas like two times. Uh, I have Ariana Grande. Which one is this? I don't know. Ari, oh, I think this is R.E.M. Yeah, this is really good. Um, Gilded Fox is another great one by Pinrose. It's like chocolate and really, really nice for cold weather. But I'm going to keep this entire um, sample bag out and just try to work through it because I really, on the side, I've been enjoying working through all my samples. I just got a sample of Zerjoff Le Capital from Osme Perfumery in Miami and now I'm like bummed that I didn't get that one, but it's okay. It's on my radar. Um, but yeah, I like to work through these as a side project to slowly diminish the amount of travel fragrances I have. So I'm going to just do that as my little side project. But yeah, those are um, the fragrances that I'm keeping for winter and those that I'm putting away until things warm up again. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you again to Lily Silk for sponsoring and helping keep this channel running. And I will catch you in my next one. Love you so much. Mwah. Bye.